management, how do we assess the severity? And this is largely done using a score called the CURB 65 score. And this takes the five factors of confusion, whether it's present or not, a urea, whether it's greater than seven or not, a respiratory rate, whether it's greater than 30 or not, blood pressure with the diastolic blood pressure is less than 60 or not, and whether the patient is over 65 years age or not. And that gives you a six point score, naught, one, two, three, four, or five. And with that score, that defines how severe, or defines the mortality, the chance of death occurring with that episode of pneumonia. So for example, if you have a score of naught or one, the chance of death is less than 1%, and that's very mild disease, and most of those patients can be treated at home. When you get to a score of two, that's moderate in your community acquired pneumonia, and most of these patients will need to come into hospital. You can see on this graph, and the mortality of that's about 13, 15%. It's, it's quite significant. Then as you go up the system, the score, the mortality associated with the score becomes higher. So that with the higher scores, four and five, the mortality is, over, is around 50%. And those are the patients with severe disease that you really need to consider referral to intensive care for close and aggressive management. As well as the CURB 65 score, there are other features that can be used, other clinical features that can be used to identify patients who may have more severe disease. So worrying features are those who are hypoxic despite having a, a high inspired oxygen concentration, patients who seem to have bilateral disease or disease that death spreads during the hospital admission despite the antibiotics. If somebody has a blood culture which is positive for an infective organism, that instantly places them into a group that has a mortality of about 20%. The C-reactive protein, the blood marker for inflammation, if it's particularly high, above 250, that seems to suggest patients who have an increased mortality in some, some data that's been published. And then if you have a severe comorbidity, if you have underlying cardiac disease, underlying COPD, or renal impairment, then that is quite likely to decompensate because of the acute infection, and that will increase the risk of severe consequences of the infection. So just to go through a couple of examples, here's patient A, age 53, presents to casualty with feeling of cough and phlegm and fever of the past three days. He's not confused. Urea was actually slightly high in 9.8, but not terribly breathless. Blood pressure was normal. That gives a curve 65 score of one, just for the urea alone. The rest were, they were, were normal. So that's a 3% mortality. They're not hypoxic. Chest x-ray confirmed pneumonia, but actually they could be treated at home with some oral antibiotics. Patient B, on the other hand, 67 years of age, so he gets a point for that, is confused gets a point for that because normally they're not confused. Urea of 10, that's greater than 7, so that gets a point for that. And is breathless. Respiratory rate's 30, gets a point for that. Not, uh, doesn't have uh, hypertension, so it doesn't get a point for that. That gives a curve 65 score of 4, and that suggests a mortality of about 42% for this sort of patient. In addition, I'm going with the respiratory rate being, far, being above 30, the PaO2 was low, it was about it was less than 8 despite being on 60% oxygen and there was bilateral consolidation. So this is a severe disease, markedly hypoxic, the patient needs to go to intensive care and probably needs to be intubated or at least if there's not any easy quick response to uh, high flow oxygen and they will need to be intubated and, and, and ventilated because of their marked hypoxia. And in this situation, that patient actually survived, although it, given the severity of the illness, it was touch and go. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.